wise up and resist hate speech. Sodom and Gomorrah. Many quote the vile biblical story of Sodom and Gomorrah as a hateful homophobic attack. It is a known goal. This is a sexist and racist story of male heterosexual sexual abuse set in a community wiped out by a volcanic eruption that reveals men's repugnant ideas both about God and morality. In the story, only one man escapes the disaster, the so-called hero and God's so-called chosen, a foul man, who, when rioting crowds threatened him, shockingly offered the rioters his two young engaged daughters to be raped instead. In fact, he said to the crowd, you can do with them whatever you want. The next day he flees with his two daughters and his wife and God tells them not to look back. His wife looks back and though Lot's decision to offer his daughters to be raped was apparently fine, the male God was so outraged that Lot's wife disobeyed him by glancing behind her, God instantly strikes her dead. Later, Lot, the so-called hero, he gets drunk and commits incest on two occasions with his two young daughters, getting each of them pregnant. The abhorrent male writers blame the daughters for the incest and then use their contrived story to cast a racist slur on the Moabites and Ammonites who came from the daughter's offspring, two Semitic peoples who opposed the Israelite invasion of Canaan. Homophobic Christians out of ignorance dare to quote this depraved story against the LGBTQIA plus community because of their bigotry and their prejudice. When they do so, challenge them and point out that it exposes the degenerate behaviour of heterosexual men and the monstrous male god of men's warped imaginations. And that loving, morally minded, godly people would never choose to refer to it. <laughs>